everybody doing? I hope y'all have a wonderful morning. It is 6.30 in the morning here in Los Buzos, Panama. And we are getting ready for breakfast. Breakfast is served at 7 in the morning. And um, I slept pretty comfortable. I did go to sleep like around 12.30 p.m. I was working on some uh, videos for you all. So, can't wait to head out there and do some Panama fishing off the kayaks. It's gonna be an awesome day. We're gonna do kind of a little hands-on um, training today. Can't wait, it's gonna be fun. Everybody, do not forget to hit that subscribe button, hit the little bell on the bottom, like always. And I hope you enjoyed today's video. And um, stay tuned, everybody. So um, I just went and I got my set of fishing rods. So they do rent you the fishing rods and they consist of three fishing rods. One of them is going to be considered your light tackle, then your medium, then your heavy. Your light tackle is basically about a four or 5,000 reel, uh, spinning reel, and your medium is, uh, I believe it could be like a six to an 8,000. And your heavy is gonna be a nice uh, little conventional reel. Let me show you what I got. And I did bring my own travel rod, like I always use. Custom-made LCD 956 rod, check it out. So that's my custom rod. I'll be doing a little bit of jigging on that. And these are the other reels. It's a beautiful morning out here in Los Buzos. Very nice. Let me just show you my front view. That's my hotel right there. And this is my front view. The ocean is right there there so we're gonna be uh, grabbing some breakfast which is right here this is where everybody meets at 7 in the morning to get some breakfast the lovely staff is getting everything ready for us I uh, just started off with a little bit of coffee let me just show you what's going on over here so the staff is getting breakfast ready I believe they're getting our lunches ready in those thermals. Como estas? Buenos días. Como están? Muy bien. No se levantaron cansados, ya están impuestos. No, ya se acostumbraron. Yo digo impuesto y ustedes le dicen acostumbrado. Pero es lo mismo. So they said they're used to waking up early. And um, let me show you what's going on over here. The guides, the staff, they're getting the kayaks ready, they're getting them loaded, and um, getting everything ready for us this morning. Have a great feeling. Today's gonna be like a trial day, so when you come out here to Los Buzos Resort and you come do some fishing with the crew and everybody, the first day is pretty much a little tr um, tutorial training. You basically fish straight out of the straight out of the lodge right here right in front on the on the property and you you start learning the moves good morning
fish on, yellow kayak, black cap. All right, Jeff, we'll head over. Those no, Zappos guys, dude, we're really spread out right now, so uh, kind of a general, you know, if you're really, if you're kind of in the front of the group, way west, or if you're in the back of the group, back to the east, helps to kind of know general area. He's uh, south of the Whaley. I see him, I see him. Hey, fire man, just fight it out, don't let the line slack. You close to that one, Robert? I have no clue where he's at. He's way up here to the west, uh, like directly in front of you. No, I'm not close to that one. No, Victor, Victor, tranquilo ahorita. Uh, vamos a esperar por bonitos. I'm not sure yet. Blue Runner. Yellow kayak, black cap, uh, Blue Runner. Man, you should put that on live. You should put that on live. That's candy. Candy, candy. Uh, to the roof of the mouth, if you look in the roof of this mouth, it's got like a little gap between, there's like two plates. There's a little gap, and you might have to push down on his forehead a little bit, like push down on his eyes. Just be careful not to push down and put the hook by yourself. But you might have to push down a little bit to get that hook to go through. And get it in there, man. Throw it out behind you. Let out a good, good amount of line. And uh, with that guy, you don't have to go fast. Pull around, gotta keep your line tight. And uh, hit a little bit until he gets eaten. Info. <laughs> Just remember a uh, super, super light drag and uh, let it eat for 12 seconds or so. Nintendo? Yeah, right. Pretty much. <laughs> Pretty much a Nintendo. That's just it? It's just a cord? Yeah, I think, I think like uh, if you're... We'll check it out for you. If your sonar comes just in the back of it, it'll shut itself off over a couple of times. Yo, Mark, you speak Spanish? Yes, sir. Yeah, so all week, if the yellow whaley is ever closest to you or you need something, feel free to just hit him up in Spanish and he, he can go over and help you do anything. He's he's really good. There's, there's no English speaker in that boat. So um, Later in the week, just any time. If he's there and you need something from him, water, bait, whatever, uh, just hit him up. What's the yellow boat guy's name? 10-4. Uh, yeah, just hold on to this boat. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, blue tank, uh, uh, blue shirt. My I bad. couldn't tell what that was, but uh, take a look at it, man. You either get your big hook out real quick or stick his face down the water in front of your drive. And that little pocket of water, stick his face in there. That might have been a blue runner. So on the blue runner, I just put on the upper, under the upper lip, oh, all yeah, the way man, through. Right through from his mouth. All right. Yeah. 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 Same thing as the beneath it. So I just leave it alive and I'm just chilling.
you set up? Keep it in that setting right there. Yep. All right. Cool, man. Appreciate it, brother. Yellow kayak, green shirt, I just got a snapper. Ten four, ten four, rock snapper. He doesn't know Charles, because Yeah, I'm right next to him, I can see it. Oh word. <laughs> Rock snapper? No. I don't think it's a rock snapper. Is that comida? Comida? <laughs> fish on, fish on. Fish on. Alright everybody, we're using the LCD956 custom rod. And we are on, baby. Fish on, fish on, yellow kayak, STX jig. I'm gonna call it the STX jig, stands for South Texas. Beautiful. Beautiful blue runner. Beautiful blue runner. Put it on, buddy. Put it on. update the first day is uh, coming to an end today was more of a hands-on experience so we can kind of get the hang of uh, you know catching bait getting the hang of using the kayaks and just getting a little comfortable out here in these waters and um, I guess I caught I'm not sure if it's a rock snapper but I'll confirm it as soon as I get to the camp 
Um, I did catch some um, which I thought were blue one or blue runners, which they were not. <laughs> I thought they were blue runners, but they were not blue runners. They were um, bonitas, maybe I believe. And um, I got some pretty good, promising runs. One got one of my leaders got cut off, and the other one basically just bit my bonita, and uh, it spit it out. So we're just waiting. I got everybody else over here. And their kayaks and we're gonna head in and we're just waiting for the one of the boat pangas to kind of lead us in there so we don't go in blind to some areas that we really don't know so that's how it was today see what else i can get filmed for you all for today's adventure this is day one of los buzos and um yeah like i said it was just a learning hands-on experience all right everybody stay tuned